Welcome to another installment of the International Coffee House video series. This week we got to enjoy learning about the food and history of Bangladesh. The Bangladesh Students Association at UTK hosted and got to share popular tea and snacks from their country. BSA students chose to serve masala tea, jal murray, and samosas. This is actually mixed puffed rice, some uh, fried flour, um, also some onions, and uh, some uh, chili powder. So this is samosa. Uh, this has uh, potatoes in it, and outside is a layer of uh, flour. So if you fry it, it tastes really good. But we here actually baked it. It, it tastes the same, but <laughs> if you fry it, it's, it's even more better. Tell us about the significance of coffee or tea in your culture. Are there any traditions, ceremonies, cultural norms associated with that drink? So, uh, tea is actually the most popular uh, drink uh, in our culture. And uh, there, uh, we actually have uh, two types of tea. One is raw and one is with milk and with uh, lots of spices. And that's actually basically we call our system body is like cha uh, khor. That's basically a person who drinks a lot of tea. So we all are like that. We really like drinking tea. I think it's our afternoon snack or morning. Uh, our morning starts with tea. How do people from your culture gather together in community? Is it centered around meals or traditions or something else? So actually, we value family traditions a lot. Okay. So that's one thing that we, uh, we gather together with the relatives and friends. And uh, yes, meal is also one of the biggest parts of our culture. So it's like if there is one gathering, we have to have like a lot of dishes around that. And yeah, it's pretty much, we cook a lot of things when people are gathered around. What makes you feel connected to your culture at UTK? So uh, there are a couple of things like at the coffee house, the iFest, and also the cultural nights. Uh, those functions actually connect me and it kind of takes me to, to my roots. Like I can show the, the, uh, what my country is actually like, what we are like. like uh, so we are known as a, a very hospitable nation. Hmm. So we like to host people and that kind of uh, really takes me back. Are there any resources we could share with our students if they want to learn more about your country or culture? If they really want to learn our culture, uh, uh, International Language Day is based on our mother tongue. Mm -hmm. So since it's International Language Day, so I would uh, say people that go ahead and uh, search for International Mother Language Day and learn the history of the language, of our language, and it, it will really be useful.